most of my life looking at how to make a life worth living which I was having. Every morning that I wake up, that I'm fortunate with God's help to do that when he says, okay, little buddy, time to get up. What I find is I have a handful of geese coming to talk to me. My little family of 12 came this morning and was looking for some food, so I gave them the rest of my bread. My little family of four came across the street and they're here just now instead. What I also know is that I got a little family that has a couple little goslings and I'm a little worried because one of the goslings might be dead. I'm really sad about that because they were so doing well and flourishing in the community, but I bet you somebody ran, ran over his little head. One of them is not walking well, and of course my question is, okay, is the little fellow pregnant, or is he, or is she really having some difficulty walking because some little shitbag Hispanic kid picked him up and harmed him instead? I can't tell you those things, but what I can tell you is that in the morning, I'm not necessarily great at rapping, but what I can tell you I don't like waking and finding is that someone has put their hands in my pockets. Someone has put their hands in my pants. What I do not like finding is the association of when that happens. When that happens, there are certain people who are already here on the beginning of their shift for a particular company. And one of the particular people has shaved his head and grown his beard to somewhat look like my Martha Mateo that I never provided him. And what I can say about these communities and about these social media networks is they like to pass shit down from their corporations and then it gets totally screwed over in their heads. And what I can say about the black community and the women who are white who marry these people is that they've walked by me and they've stared at my beard. And my question is, who the hell let you listen to me? Who the hell gave you my channel? Because when I find out who that is, we're going to really have a good time giving you a new handle for jail. And in life, if you're one of my siblings, I promise you, you're going to hell. Because Jesus Christ didn't leave you, Lord, but everything you keep doing to try to push me out of the life of my parentage is going to put you in hell.